I'm very pleased to announce that in the coming weeks we'll be starting a Tyrannus series. This is my new Tyrannus Plus. This was actually sent to me by a subscriber, very generous gentleman that I'm not going to mention by name, but I will say publicly a very, very big heartfelt thank you for sending me this. Uh, this is a really generous gift and it's far more than I expected. So thank you to you, sir. You are a gentleman. We are going to be able to use this radio over the coming weeks to put a Tyrannus series together to address some of the questions that we've had on the channel in uh, some of the older videos where we've talked about telemetry, things like the NASA 32 and other boards, but also to talk about how you actually set this radio up, what you do when you first get it, how you make sure you can flash the firmware, because when I did that, that wasn't straightforward, but I figured it out, and then doing things like setting up the inputs, the outputs, dual rate, mixes, changing things like endpoints. And for anybody that is using a different radio system, so for those of you who know my videos well, you know I'm a bit of a Spectrum fanboy, the Spectrum system and something like the OpenTX operating system that's on the Tyrannis are very, very different. And the way the Tyrannis works is everything through mixes. So some of the things that work and are very straightforward in my mind, because I understand it very well, coming from a more traditional radio system, a more proprietary one, coming to the OpenTX system, do you have to change the way you think about it slightly? But once you've made that slight change in your brain, everything starts to make a lot more sense. And actually the power, the, uh, the open nature of the way that the system's implemented on the radio is fantastic. So, along with the Tronis Plus that I have, we've also um, got a couple of receivers that we're going to play with. So we've got the X8R receiver. So that one is one that we're going to be able to plug in things like this, which is our little LiPo voltage sensor. Uh, this was one of those things where occasionally I see something in a kit that make me go, oh, that's cool. And I'm afraid... Um, this little piece of kit is absolutely one of those. So this is part of the telemetry kit that will plug into the 8XR and allow us to remotely monitor battery voltage on a craft. And the last thing we have is one of these cute little D4R2s, the little four channel uh, receivers as well. So over the next coming weeks, I'm going to start putting this series together. And what I'd like to do is ask you, my subscribers, what it is you'd actually like to see on the radio. The radio itself is very full featured. And as I said, I've, I've been playing with this for a couple of days and been right impressed. If I just turn this on, you'll see my customized splash screen. You'll also hear it make a couple of noises. So I've been playing with this and um, found some different ways of doing stuff. So it appears in OpenTX there's always at least one way of doing things and usually two or three, including some really cool shortcuts using this stuff on the side with these buttons. So let me know what it is you'd like to see. Put it in the comments and I will add that into the list for the Tyrannus series that we'll be putting onto the channel over the next six to eight weeks. So finally, I'd just like to say a very big thank you again to the gentleman that sent this to me so that we could go and do this series. Thank you again. You are very, very generous. I can't thank you enough. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and keep your eyes open for the first of our Tyrannus videos. Happy flying.